Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, I'm going to teach you the difference between a permutation and a combination. Okay, let's start. Let's begin with their similarities. Okay, so a permutation and a combination, okay, both deal with choosing or selecting R objects from a given collection of N objects. Okay? Paro silang ganon. Okay? So, ano yung pagkakaiba nila? Eto. Their difference is, in a combination, the order does not matter. Okay? Pero sa permutation, mahalaga yung order. Okay? The order is very important. Okay, anong ibig sabihin nun? Okay, in a combination, kahit i-jumble-jumble nyo yung mga objects, pareho lang ang ibig sabihin. Okay? Or pareho lang yung pinapertain nila. Okay? Pero in a permutation, may mapagpalit ka lang ng position or ng rank, iba na ang ibig sabihin nun. Okay? So, for you to confidently identify the difference between a permutation and a combination, Let's have some examples here. But don't forget, if the order does not matter, it is a combination. If the order does matter, it is a permutation. All right? Okay. So, we are going to determine if the given situation, okay, depicts a combination or a permutation. Okay? Let's have this number one, okay? Choosing five questions to answer out of 10 questions in a test, okay? So, for example, pinili nyo even-numbered questions, okay? So, you're going to answer 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay? Pero kunyari, nahirapan kayo sa number 4 or nahirapan kayo sa ibang number, so you try to skip, right? So, you may answer even-numbered questions in this way. O, kunyari, nakita nyo mas madali si 8 and then 10, tapos binalikan nyo si 2 and then 4 and then 6. It can also be like this. Okay? Nag-start kayo sa dulo. Okay? Sa 10 muna and then 8. Now, my question is, Etong three ways na ginawa mo to answer five questions, five even-numbered questions, do they pertain to the same set of five questions? The answer is yes. Okay? So nakita nyo, the order does not matter. Okay? Kahit pagpalit-palitin nyo pa yung um, order ng pagsagot nyo dun sa even-numbered questions, still, Sinagutan mo pa rin yung limang even-numbered questions. Hindi nagbago yun. Okay? So that's why this situation depicts a combination. Okay? Let's try another one. Opening a combination lock. Okay? So what is a combination lock? Okay? It is a lock which can only be opened by using a series of numbers and or letters in a particular order. Okay? So, para lang may password, yung padlock, may password. So, what do we know about passwords? Kapag may napagpalit lang kayo na dalawa, hindi nyo na mabubuksan yung account niyo. Ganun din sa combination lock. Okay? So, this is a permutation. Actually, may joke nga dito eh. Dapat hindi combination lock ang tawag. Dapat daw, permutation lock. Okay, let's try more. Okay? What about this one? Winning in a contest. This one is generally a permutation. Especially kapag may first, second, third. Okay? Di ba ganun kapag tinanong ka, nanalo ka? Sabi mo, yes. Kahit third ka. Right? Okay. So, pero dito kasi hindi sinabi kung uh, may ranking. May first, second, third. Now, kapag isa lang ang mananalo, okay, there's only one winner in a contest, it is 
a situation which is either a permutation or a combination. Okay? Madali lang explanation nun. Tingnan natin yung um, formulas nila. Okay? Ito yung para sa permutation at ito naman yung para sa combination. Okay? So, you may want to consider n equals 5. So, may limang contestants. Okay? May limang participants. And may isa lang winner. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, um, you take one at a time out of five contestants. Okay? So, your n is 5, your r is 1. Okay? So, please do the math. Dito rin, you substitute n equals 5 and r equals 1. Dito rin, r equals 1. And then you see, they will give you the same value. So, ibig sabihin, kapag isa lang yung winner, pwede siyang permutation, pwede siyang combination. Okay? So, for number 3, it depends. Okay? You may ask your teacher kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin itong winning in a contest. Okay, tanong nyo kung may first place, second place, third place, or kung isa lang ang winner. Okay? Okay, let's have another set of situations. Okay? So before we continue, can you give this video a thumbs up so we can help more students like you? Alright? Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Let's have this fourth example. Selecting seven people to form Student Affairs Committee. Okay? A Student Affairs Committee, it may be composed of like this. For example, one teacher, para siya yung advisor. And then, pipili ng tatlo from grade 9 students and tatlo from grade 10 students. Okay? Randomly. Okay? So, kung ang mapipili sa grade 10 students ay si A, si B, at si C, Okay? Pero nung tinawag ng teacher, nauna si C, then si A, then si B, same lang yon, Same group of grade 10 students yon. Okay? So obviously, the order does not matter here. So it is a combination. Moving on to number five. Forming triangles from six distinct points in which no three points are collinear. Okay. Suggestion. Kapag pinapagawa kayo ng ganito, okay, tapos laging merong no three points are collinear, so titingnan nyo yung points na given. Six. Ang gagawin nyo lang, magdodraw kayo ng polygon. Okay? Pag nagawa nyo yun, sure kayo na walang tatlong points na collinear. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng collinear? Points lying on the same line. So in this example, we have six points, so we're going to draw a hexagon. Okay? Kapag nagawa nyo yun, sure kayo na walang tatlong points na nasa same line. Okay? Parang ito. So, we have six points here. Kita nyo? Okay? And then you try to make lines. Okay? Sure ako na walang tatlong points na magpo-fall on a same line. Okay? Tingnan nyo ito. Kunyari, um, itong line BC. Okay? Wala na siyang ibang tatamaang point. Hindi niya tatamaan yung other um, four points. Kunyari, line BE. So, you connect these two points. So, line yon Okay? etong dalawang points lang ang tatamaan ng line BE. Okay? Hindi tatamaan yung other four points. Okay? So, sure tayo na no three points are collinear. Now, we form triangles. Okay? So, isa lang ang ipoform ko dito, ha? Okay. Let's have that. Sige nga. Can you name this triangle? You can call it triangle A, B, C. Right? Pwede rin ba siyang triangle um, A, C, B? Yeah? Okay? Pwede rin ba siyang triangle B, A, C? Pwede rin ba siyang triangle B, C, A? Okay? So, actually, yan yung mga pwedeng pangalan ng triangle na ito. Okay? So, what do you notice? Okay? Kahit pagpalit-palitin ko yung order ng mga letters na ito, they all pertain to the same triangle. So, here, obviously, the arrangement does not matter. So, we have 
another combination problem here. Right? Okay. More examples. Okay. What about assigning seats to guests at dinner? Of course, the seating arrangement matters. Why? Siyempre, gusto natin malapit tayo sa food. Di ba? Okay. So, obviously, this is a permutation problem. Now, let's have this. Okay? Playing lotto. Okay, if you're going to choose six numbers from 1 to 45, ang tawag dito, dito sa Philippines ay Mega Lotto. Okay? The 645 Lotto. Okay? Ibig sabihin, from numbers 1 to 45, pipili ka ng anim. Okay? So, syempre, may mga favorite numbers kayo. Kapag pumili kayo ng anim, ipiprint yung ticket ninyo, right? And then, your ticket will look like this. For example, ito yung mga chosen numbers ninyo. Ito yung anim na numbers na inaalagaan. Okay. Now, my schedule and draw night. Okay? So, let's say, ito ang lotto result. Okay? So, ang ginagawa doon during the draw night, winiway, tinitimbang ang bawat bola to make sure that they have the same weight. Okay, bawal yung may mabigat na bola. Dapat pantay-pantay yung weight ng bawat bola. And then, sabi ng host, first ball, 37. Okay? Next ball, 9. Third ball, we have 25. Fourth ball, 13. Kasi ano yun eh, umiikot tapos aakit yung ball. Okay? Fifth number, 44. Okay? And then last number or last ball, we have 18. So, what will be your reaction? Do you think ikaw ang nanalo? Okay, let's check. Ito yung ticket mo. Okay, 9. Uy, mayroong 9. 13? Yeah. 18? Yes. 25? Yes. 37? And then 44. So, ikaw yung panalo. Okay? So, what do you notice? The order does not matter again. Okay? So, this is a combination problem. Okay? Kaya pa? Because I still have another set of examples. Okay? I think this is going to be the last set. Okay, number eight. Entering PIN of your ATM card. Okay? So, obviously, this is A. Permutation. Okay? Kasi yun nga, pag nagkamali kayo ng pindot, di ba, sa, sa machine, hindi kayo makakapag-withdraw. Okay? And a security tip here, similar to a password, your ATM card PIN should be kept secret. Okay? Huwag niyo sasabihin sa iba. Kaso minsan, dahil sobrang sinisikreto nyo, nakakalimutan nyo na rin yung PIN ng ATM card ninyo. Okay? Okay. But, yeah, for security reason, do not share your PIN, okay, to anyone. Okay, let's have number nine. Selecting three posters to hang out of six different posters. So it's like out of six different posters, you randomly choose three posters. Okay, pili lang kayo ng tatlo with no particular order. So, obviously, this is a combination. Okay? Lastly, we have this. Listing the elements of subsets of a given set. Okay? Uh, let's consider this set. Okay? So, the given set is the set A, which contains all the vowels of the alphabet. Okay? Set A has two Raise to 5 subsets. Okay? So, saan ikaw lang 2 raised to 5? 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2, 32. Okay? We're not going to list all the 32 subsets here. I just want you to consider and study this set. The set containing A, E, I is obviously 
a subset of set A. Right? Kasi lahat ng elements niya, oh, nasa set A. So, ito ay subset. This is properly contained in set A. What about this one? A, I, E. Subset ba siya ni A? Yes. Actually, if you inspect closely, they are all subsets of A. Okay. Now, look at the elements of the subsets. Ito, merong A, E, I. Ito, meron din siyang A, E, I. Ito rin, A, E, I. Ito rin, A, E, I. So, what do you notice? Pare-pareho ang elements nila. Okay? So, actually, etong anim na subsets na ito, isang subset lang siya ni A. Okay? So, hindi nagmamatter yung arrangement ng elements. Pare-pareho lang sila. Okay? Isang subset lang sila. Okay? So, that's why number 10 is a combination problem. Okay? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.